The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. The meeting is going to be starting shortly. We are just waiting on people to arrive as attendees, and so we're going to give it just a couple minutes. Thanks. Okay, I'm not seeing any more attendees coming through, so I'd like to go ahead and get the meeting started. My name is Jason Lindstrom. I'm the president and CEO of Evergreen Credit Union, and I'd like to welcome everyone to our live annual meeting virtually via GoToWebinar. We do have a quorum as our board is joining us virtually along with our executive team, senior leadership team, and other employees. So to begin the meeting tonight, I would like to have a brief moment of silence for our former board member, Rick Parashak. Rick lost his life to COVID-19 last year around this same time and, one of the, and was one of the earliest deaths in Maine. Please include others who lost their life due to COVID-19 in this moment of silence as well. All right, thank you so much for that. Um, I know COVID has touched all of our lives in some way and um, appreciate that. I'd like to begin the formal annual meeting by introducing Sandra Lipsy, Evergreen's board chair. Sandra is joining us virtually tonight. Sandra, take it away. Thanks, Jason. Uh, I call the annual meeting of Evergreen Credit Union to order. Uh, I too wanna to welcome you to this annual meeting of members of the Evergreen Credit Union. All the board wishes we could be meeting with you face to face. I particularly miss the ability to move through the room and meet you personally and talk to you about how the credit union has served you this year. However, the times require that we conduct this meeting at a greater distance, and I know that you not only understand why, but acknowledge that the credit union has worked diligently and with focus to keep both you and our employees safe. As there is a quorum, we will now conduct the business of the annual meeting of Evergreen Credit Union. I need a motion to approve the minutes of the 2020 annual meeting of the Evergreen Credit Union, which are posted on our website, agcu.org backslash news. I welcome a motion. Thank you, Bob. I need a second. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, the meeting is called to order. I would like to introduce our board of directors, Eric King, who is vice chair, Rachel Green, who is secretary, Bob Dorr, who is treasurer, Jim Wilson, hello, Jim, Ruth Walsh, hello, Wal uh, Ruth, Heather Valley, and Julie Natale. Shannon Merrill, a year ago, uh, was a non-voting member, but she was elected by the board to fill Rick Parashat's seat as a voting board member. In addition, you will see Brian with us. He will join the board in April. It's hard in these times to declare a year of doing business a success as we have all had to struggle with many challenges that make success look very different from a year ago. First, we are blessed with a very committed team on our board of directors. As members of the greater Portland community, 
They have struggled with their own version of the pandemic and its impact on their lives. Family members who are older needing care and younger members needing explanations about how and why we are living these days. It would have been easy as a volunteer during this year to slack off in service to our families and our work and community commitments. Instead, this board has invested in strong, high quality governance, showing up for virtual meetings and doing committee work without any dilution of the outcomes. I am personally grateful for their commitment and the energy with which they have served. My personal thanks to each and every one of you as directors and valuable volunteers advocating for our credit union and as members. Now I want to introduce Bob Dorr, the Board Audit Committee Chair. Hello, my name is Bob Dorr. I am the Audit Committee Chair. In 2020, I assumed the role as Chair of the Audit Committee when the previous Chair, Eric King, became the Vice Chair of the Credit Union. Eric continued to serve on the committee and we added Heather Valley as well. Credit Union leadership members, Jason Lindstrom, Tim Barreau, Mike, Michael Dory, Laura Briggs, and a newcomer, John Merrill, also serve on the committee. Michael stepped off the committee late in the year after getting John up to speed. The committee met quarterly during 2020 to review and analyze the credit union's annual compliance and audit planning process, third party, party audit results, and timely resolution of audit findings, audit and compliance committee activities, loan and share accounts. The committee continued with the use of learning components in meetings to review specific credit union systems and or processes. We found this component to continue to be highly valuable as we gained additional insight and understanding of credit union operations. The committee would like to thank all of the Evergreen staff and the management for answering our questions and especially Laura, Michael, and John for gathering the materials we analyzed during our meetings. Thank you very much. Have a great meeting. Thanks, Bob. So my, my report, the CEO report, starts with our introduction of our senior leadership team. I welcome, uh, you can't see these folks online tonight because we're using GoToWebinar, but they're here. Uh, Tim Veralt, our Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. Kate Archambault, our Executive VP and CFO, handles all of our, our business, our money. Um, Kathy Lestage, our Vice President of Human Resources. Dennis Knox, our Vice President of Lending. Howard Lowe, our Vice President of Marketing. Jerry Shaw, our Vice President of Commercial Lending. You'll hear from him later tonight. Laura Briggs, our Vice President of Audit Compliance and our BSA, which is the Bank Secrecy Act. And Michael Dory, Vice President of Deposit Operations. Nate Davis, Vice President of Information Technology. And Richard Fulls, Vice President of Branch Administration. We have a great team here at Evergreen, and I think a lot of you have, as members have dealt with our team. And while 2020 was a definitely a challenging year due to the pandemic, we made the best do we knew we know how um, by protecting our team and our members. Uh, we needed to close lobbies for safety and we had to close branches when our team was exposed. But I'm happy to say that all those employees who have caught the virus did well and recovered with no hospitalizations for our team. We're also grateful for that. We really um, had, a, had a good year when it came to protecting our team. Uh, we continue to monitor the pandemic situation and feel like we're getting closer to operating in a more normal mode. On the innovation front, the pandemic did not slow us down at all. We improved our phone system, we upgraded our online and mobile banking experience, and we loaned out nearly $100 million in new loans in our communities. We saw our assets rise to over $400 million, which now makes us the fifth largest credit union in Maine, so yay on that. Um, on the commercial lending side, we are very active in all rounds of the Paycheck Protection Program, known as PPP, and we continue to do PPP loans today. All total, we've lent well over 10 million in PPP loans, um, and it's made us the top credit union in Maine for PPP lending. We were also ranked seventh in the best places to work in Maine, but we were the top financial institution that was listed. And I can't thank my entire team enough for that honor because we could not do it without all the hard work that they put in every single day. For any and all of our community partners that might be attending this meeting, we really appreciate your willingness to collaborate with us. Together, we're making Maine an even better place to live. So thank you, we appreciate that. 
Uh, next up on the agenda here is to talk about the treasurer's report. So we put the treasurer's report into an annual report online. The report can be found at www.egcu.org forward slash news. There you'll find that we had a great year, uh, even during a pandemic, as we raised over um, $1 million in net income for the credit union while surviving through the pandemic. So I'm going to turn the meeting back over to Sandra to finish out the formal business meeting. Sandra. Thanks, Jacob. Jason. It's, it really has been a great year, and we're very grateful to you and your staff for making that possible. So I am constrained to ask out loud, is there any other business meeting to be conducted in this annual meeting? Okay, then I'm gonna go on to new business. As there are no petitions from the membership to run for a board seat, the following board members are elected for three-year terms. Ruth Walsh, Eric King, and me, Sandra Lipsy. In addition, a non-voting board member will be elected at the April board meeting, Brian Wild. Last, all business having been completed, a motion to adjourn will be entertained along with a second. So I'd like a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Julie. I need a second. Thank you, Heather. Uh, we are going to adjourn. And uh, this is the conclusion of the annual meeting of the Evergreen Credit Union. Thank you, Sandra, I appreciate that. We are gonna move ahead now in the rest of our program for the night, because we aren't finished. I'd like to welcome to the stage, so to speak, Brenda Pollock. Brenda is our membership development manager, and she's going to be presenting the Lending Partner of the Year Award. So Brenda, let's get your camera turned on and with us. Hello, everyone. I think you can hear me okay. Yes, so we can. It is an honor to be here tonight. So last year, I toasted everyone and said, can't wait to see you again, fully anticipating we would be able to be together this year to celebrate our top five nominees for this year. But here we find ourselves again. Uh, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. So we are going to take a rain check on that Cheers Live together. Uh, 2020 caught us all by surprise for sure, but we did a little bit of navigating to be able to get through this pandemic, and Julia and I did what we do best. In 2020, we delivered a hundred dozen donuts, 200 dozen pizza, uh, 200 pizzas, three hundred dozen cookies to our lending partners. And we did this all safely. Uh, so that was a great way for us to stay connected with our lending partners. And during that year, our lending partners continued to submit applications from their respective businesses directly to Evergreen. And we never missed a beat. So we thank you for that. We were already set up for pandemic and we had an amazing year. So I wanna send out a special kudos tonight. Our kudos goes to our team, our, our uh, branch managers, our loan officers, and especially to our FSRs. Truly, you are so appreciated and you are the heart and soul of this program. And I am convinced with all of you aboard in the dealer program, 2021 will be our best year yet. Thank you and kudos to all of you. And of course, I couldn't do this program without my sidekick. Julia Layton has been there all along every day. She works side by side with me and we really manage the program together as one. So Julia, thank you for everything you do every day. I appreciate your kindness and your professionalism and so do the dealers. So thank you for all you do. I encourage everyone who's watching to go to our website and take a complete list of our more than 124 lending partners. Uh, you can find them on the website. Just look for lending partners and check them out. So it is my extreme honor 
to highlight and feature our top five nominees for 2020 Lending Partner of the Year. In alphabetical order, they are Lee's Family Trailer Sales and Service, McDonald Motors Auto Group, Richardson's Boatyard and Marina, Robertson's Power and Sport, and Scott's Recreation. As we enter our fourth full year of this program, I want to express my personal sincere gratitude to all of you. First, for your business, your support, and mostly for your friendship. So it's been a great year, thank you. I will be naming the 2020 Lending Partner of the Year last. So ladies and gentlemen, here are the top five. McDonald Motors Auto Group. Celebrating 75 years in business, the McDonald family started their dealership in a small building on Main Street in Bridgeton. Since their humble beginnings, they've expanded their family business to North Conway. They have won numerous awards throughout their years in business, and they can now add Lending Partner of the Year for Evergreen Credit Union. Uh, so they are one of our top five finalists. Congratulations to Dan and to your entire team. All right, our next finalist featured tonight is Scott's Recreation. For 17 years, Scott's Recreation has provided their clients with full service marine, RV, and a camping dealership, TYM, TYM tractors, power sports, boats, docks, trailers, heavy equipment, they do it all. They have two locations in Turner and Manchester, and they were Evergreen's 2018 Lending Partner of the Year, and we're proud to congratulate Scott, his son Reed, for being, this is the fourth time they're nominated as a top five nominee for Lending Partner of the Year. Congratulations to everyone at Scott's Recreation. All right, we're getting to third place. Richardson's Boatyard and Marina. Recognized by boat, the boating industry as one of the top 100 dealers in North America, Richardson's has two locations in Standish and Wyndham. And they offer boating for family at their marina on Sedeva Lake. So Rich, Mike, Tim, Jackie, and the entire team, they offer their customers a large selection of boats, personal watercraft, snowmobiles, both new and used. And we want to congratulate each and every one of you for this honor. Thank you. And in second place this year, congratulations to Robertson's Power and Sport. Since 1988, Robertson's Power and Sports has been Southern Maine's provider for all things power sports. With several brands under their one roof, they provide their customers with all the toys, ATVs, side-by-sides, -side, snowmobiles, motorcycles, dirt bikes, scooters, spiders, and ski -doos. New to Evergreen's top 10 and top five finalists this year, it is a pleasure to work with you and your staff. Welcome to our Evergreen family, and congratulations to Derek and everyone at Robertson's Power and Sports. And ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Lending Partner of the Year is Lee's Family Trailer Sales and Service. Congratulations. This is a back-to-back -back win for Dan and his entire team at Lee's. Since 2017, Lee's Family Sa Trailer Sales and Service has been a top five finalist. And last year, they were named the 2019 Lending Partner of the Year. Dan Crafty has yet again rocked the RV world. Dan Karen, Deb Wardwell, the entire team at Leaves. We wanna congratulate you and thank you for your continued business, your support of this program, and for our friendship. Um, I just want to thank each and every one of our top five. So last year, I had the same glass 
the cheers, all of you. I hope this year it will come true. Uh, but stay healthy, stay safe, and here's to an amazing and prosperous 2021 for each and every one of you. Back to you, our president and CEO, Mr. Jason Lindstrom. Cheers. Thanks, Brenda. Appreciate that. And congratulations, Lee's Family Trailer and all the other lending partners of the year. You guys really help us make um, our business thrive and do well in both York and Cumberland County. So we really appreciate that. I did forget to mention that the board members took off here because they have a separate meeting to set the officers. And so I wanted to be sure that they're going out to do that. And it uh, looks like they're coming back. So um, welcome back board members. Um, next up, I wanna introduce Jerry Shaw. Jerry is our VP of Commercial Lending. I wanna make sure that he comes back up on screen here. Hi, Jerry. Jerry will be introducing the Business Partner of the Year. I just wanna make sure his mic is working. Are you working, Jerry? I'm working, I believe. All right, there you go. The floor is yours. Very good. Well, hello, everyone. I'm here to present our business partner of the year. Um, so Evergreen started its commercial lending program 15 years ago. And over this time, we've had the pleasure of working with hundreds of members, business members serving our community. In the spirit of recognizing certain leaders, entrepreneurs, and general investors into the betterment of Southern Maine, we note the following finalists for Evergreen's business partner of the year for many nominees. John Patton started Dayton Trailer Sales just last year in 2020. What a time to start business. Uh, he did this to perceive a, a need in York County and further out for sales, service, and supplies regarding trailers of all types. Located on a former dairy farm, the pastoral location adds charm to this fledgling business. Congrats to Johnny on being a finalist for Evergreen's Business Partner of the Year. James and Ronald Willie started working for their father's excavating business when they were young and now run the Casco based business. While the core work is excavation contracting, they expanded into general contracting, general contracting some years ago, and they also started Casco Self Storage in 2019, and they were uh, a uh, finalist for Business Partner of the Year last year as well. So, congrats to Jim and Ron as finalists for the Business Partner of the Year. CJAM is a delivery service providing contract FedEx routes throughout the greater Portland area. James Phelps serves as president of the company based out of Westbrook and has four partners, Chris Lacusi, uh, James Marion, Anthony Infanti, and Michael Ahern. Congrats to Jamie and all partners on being a finalist for Evergreen's Business Partner of the Year. Matthew Chamberlain and Aaron Shields obtained sufficient property on Jenkin Road Jenkins Road in Saco that will provide a great location for new housing. Over the years, they worked on various plans to develop the property and phase one of Fog Estates, 14 lot subdivision is underway. Matthew is a principal of Regency Realty Group in South Portland, while Aaron runs Design Build Associates of Maine based in Warm. Congrats to Aaron and Matthew as finalists for Evergreen's Business Partner of the Year. And ladies and gentlemen, Evergreen's 2020 Business Partner of the Year is Delta Properties. Justin Doerr and Mike Pergula were home builders and contractors for years until joining together to form Delta Properties based in Westbrook. Justin and Mike have been friends for decades as old schoolmates. With the continued housing boom, boom in Maine, they've worked on dozens of building projects since 2018, and given their efforts, you will see fine new homes built by Delta throughout the greater Portland area, with a focus on the Lakes region. Congrats to Justin and Mike on being selected as Evergreen's Business Partner of the Year for 2020. And without further ado, back to Jason. Or, there, Jason? Oh, that happens all the time. <laughs> Unmuting is, is key in a COVID world. Anyway, I have the distinct honor to uh, pass out the award for the, the advocate of the year um, and what it means to be an advocate. So we identify our advocate as a person or group 
who promotes Evergreen in the community with conviction and resolve. This year, the award is going to go to a large group of dedicated people who worked tirelessly throughout the pandemic and continued their promotion of Evergreen's products and services, even when their schedules, office, and lives were turned upside down due to the pandemic. This group stared the pandemic in the face and at times had to deal directly with it uh, their, as their coworkers may have been exposed or even caught the virus themselves. In 2020, we feel there's no group more deserving of the Advocate of the Year Award, and it gives me great pleasure to give this award to the entire Evergreen team. Evergreen employees were designated as essential workers and never missed a beat throughout this pandemic. Each of you will be getting your own award that you can display proudly on your desk or your teller station. And thank you again for continuing to be advocates for our credit union and all the hard work you do in providing world-class member service to our members. Wanted to show you the award that we're going to put in. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this award will be in our case, but every employee will get an award. So congratulations to the entire Evergreen team. What an outstanding year we had. And I thank you all for your convictions and your dedication to the company. Um, we will be delivering all these awards to the winners in the next week or two. And congratulations to everyone. And thank you for supporting Evergreen Credit Union. Your membership means the world to us. And uh, we want to do the best by you and, and create a best financial life for you. So thanks again. I apologize for this year's format but we did so so that members and staff would be in a safe environment. And we really hope that we'll be back in a public venue next year. So thanks again and have a great evening. And that concludes the meeting, thank you. Well done everybody.